Well, good morning. I'm Rhonda Edwards from the Open Source Program Office at VMware, and I'm here with Rose Judge, who is an open source engineer and the co-maintainer for TURN. Welcome, Rose. Hi. Okay, so TURN is a VMware-originated open source tool that generates a software bill of materials for uh, container images and Docker files, as well as offering some other ancillary functionality. So today I'm gonna walk through a demo. Um, as I mentioned, one of TURN's um, primary functions offers the ability to inspect container images and their metadata to produce um, a software build materials. So we'll start with just a simple example. Um, you as a user are going to invoke TURN on the command line. We're, today we're gonna look at this Photon 3.0 image. Um, which is based on VMware's open source minimalist Linux operating system, optimized for cloud native applications, and then we're going to pipe the output to this nice text file um, to look at later. So um, Turn is going to pull the image from Docker Hub. It's going to tell you on the screen or on the terminal exactly what it's doing. So it's going to untar um, the container image, it will mount any layers in a temporary directory on your host system. And then it's going to go through layer by layer to determine what is installed there. Um, this particular image is only one layer, so the output is going to be a little shorter and it's going to be a little faster than if you have a large container image with tons of layers. But um, once TURN has collected this information into a report, um, so you can see it's doing some mounting, it's collecting some information, it's going to create a detailed report, and then it's going to take care of all the cleanup on your system as well. Um, so if we take a look at the report that gets created, um, it's going to start by telling you the version of turn that was used to generate this report. So right now we're working at the tip of master, but turn also does have pip packages available. Um, it's going to tell you the image that it's inspecting. So um, this is Photon 3.0. It found VMware Photon OS Linux and Etsy OS release. Um, and then it will tell you the um, command that actually created this layer. And that's not apparent from just looking at the Photon 3.0 image tag. Um, and then it's going to give, it's going to collect information about the um, packages, their licenses, versions, project URLs, and it's going to give you the information on exactly how it does that. So TURN aims to be transparent to its users. Um, so um, in this first layer, it found um, all of these packages. And then these are all of the licenses associated with said packages. This particular container image is only one layer. So um, it's only reporting on that one layer, but if you had multiple layers, it would give you a summary for each layer. Um, and then at the end, it will just give you a full summary of all the licenses found in the entire container image. So um, I mentioned that TURN can also do this for Docker files. So for time's sake, I already generated um, the output file, but TURN has a Docker file available. It's really simple. Um, and if we run turn on this Docker file, it's going to, instead of pulling the image from Docker Hub, it's going to attempt to actually build a container image from that Docker file. Um, and when it does, it's going to run through a lot of the same things, mounting the layers, inspecting them, and then running teardown. And we're going to get something like this. So as you can see, this um, container image that we built from that Docker file. It's based on Photon, so you're going to see similar packages and their licenses as we did before. But there's other uh, packages installed in this Docker file, so there's more layers created. Um, and in, the, in this layer, the second layer, it found more packages um, and licenses associated with them. And then this third layer, it didn't find any packages there. So again, it will give you the summary of licenses found in the container um, in a nice, easy, human readable way. And um, you can do with that information what you want. Uh, we have a couple other ways of displaying this information. So um, you can represent the information in JSON or YAML format. Um, you can also create your own, um, your own format or use the SPDX tag value format that we offer as well. 
Great. Um, so, um, Rose, how else is the code being utilized? So, other functionality that Turn offers, um, one of the other big ones is this Docker file lock feature. And um, I have an example of that as well. So, if we were to quote unquote lock the Docker file that I showed you earlier, we would get something like this. And the lock functionality um, aims to pin all the dependencies in a Docker file. So it will try, it will pin this base image. It's going to pin the package version that it finds at the time Docker file lock is run. And the goal is to help you create Docker files that will in turn produce more reproducible container images. Um, there's also, Turn also supports extensions. So if you're familiar with scan code, um, it's an analysis tool that finds license information for files. So you can actually plug that into Turn and um, Turn will use scan code to find license information on files in a container. Um, and then we also have some debug functionality um, that can help you debug your container images, but take care of, Turn will take care of all the mounting and cleanup um, associated with that. Great, and where can everyone find the Turn application? So turn is on GitHub. The easiest way to contact the maintainers is all in the Git um, in the GitHub. It's the org name is turn T E R N dash tools slash turn. Great. Thank you so much for being with us today, Rose. This is fabulous information. Thank you.